One occasion, St. Gemma Galgani had a vision of Jesus, and she was praying for the conversion of a, peck, of, of a sinner. And Jesus said to her, that sinner has rejected so many of my graces, no conversion. So time went on, and St. Gemma kept praying for the conversion of this sinner. Jesus appeared again and said, You don't know what type of sinner this is. I have sent so many graces and they've all been flaunted by this, this uh, hardened sinner. But St. Gemma was insistent and um, she prayed all the more fervently. And once again Jesus appeared to her and she said, Lord, I beg you to convert the sinner. I want his conversion. I want the salvation of his soul. Jesus once again denied the request, saying, You don't know how many graces I have sent to this sinner for his conversion, but he has just rejected totally, totally these graces. And Gemma said, Well, if you're not going to convert him, I'm going to talk to your mother. And then Jesus said, well, in that case, I cannot resist. And the sinner was converted. What is our message here? All graces flow from the heavenly throne, from the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But God has chosen someone very special for himself to come into the world. That is, Mary most holy. But also God has chosen Mary as the mediatrix of all graces. This is taught by Pope John Paul II in his document, The Blessed Virgin Mary the Rosary. Colby, St. Maximilian Colby teaches this. St. Louis de Montfort teaches this. So Mary is a conduit by which these graces flow in abundance. We all know sinners. We ourselves are sinners. Our Lady of Fatima appeared and said to the children to pray for the conversion of poor sinners. Because many sinners are lost because people don't pray and offer up enough sacrifices for them. So today, why don't you say at least one Hail Mary for the conversion of some sinner?